Life's been funnier ever since I learned how to add a GIF to Final Cut Pro. Before, my videos were bland and boring. Now they're hilarious and fun to watch. In this video, I'll show off seven tips for easy GIF editing in Final Cut Pro, including looping. And at the end, I'll show you how to animate your GIF with a drag and drop flick of the wrist. All right, one of the best places you can get GIFs is giphy.com, G-I-P-H. Y.com. You can look at their trending GIFs here, like what are popular GIFs that people are using and downloading, or you can search for something here, like heck yes. And then it just returns a ton of GIFs that we can use. Let's try funny dog. <laughs> All right, this is a good one. Let's use that. So to download it, click on it and then right click on it and select save image as select where you want to save it we'll put it in this gifts folder we'll name it dog splits and click save all right now that we have some gifts downloaded let's import them to final cut pro there's a couple ways you can do it the first is to go to file import and then media or just press command i for the shortcut down here in the bottom navigate to where your gifts are stored I have mine in a folder on my desktop. Here we are, GIFs. And then just select the ones you want to import. And then up here, you can select an existing event or you can create a new one and give it a name. I've already got an event set up for this, so we'll select GIF. All right, I wanna import this one, so I'll select it and click on Import Selected. Another way to import them is to just drag and drop from the finder. So I've got a couple in here. I want to import this one. I can drag and drop it into the browser, like so. Let's undo that. Or I can drag and drop it right into my timeline. And so now I have it in my timeline and it's added it up here into the browser and it's marked it as used, meaning it's in the timeline. Okay, now to add a GIF to our video, we can do it like any other clip. I can select it and I can move my playhead where I want and press Q and it will attach it. Or I can put it at the end of the clip by selecting it and pressing E and it will add it to the end of my timeline. I can move my playhead where I want with my GIF selected, press W and that will insert it wherever my playhead is. It will split this clip in half or into two pieces and put the GIF in the middle. I can also move my playhead wherever I want and overwrite whatever's in the timeline by selecting my GIF and pressing D. All right, now it's into my project. Let's attach this one to the top of my clip. And there we go, we've got a GIF in our video. Now we can treat this GIF like any other clip. We can edit it, we can do lots of stuff, add transitions, effects. All right. Let's edit this. The first thing to do is to select it and go to the inspector over here on the right hand side. If you don't see the inspector, click on this button right here with the three sliders. And go down to the bottom and set spatial conform type to none. This will give us the actual size of the GIF. It won't be blown up and it won't be shrunk in order to fit into our video. This is the actual size, which is good for resizing so that we don't make it too pixelated or lose resolution. Next, let's resize and move it. Right click on the viewer, select transform, and click anywhere on the GIF to move it around. These corner blue handles, when I click and drag on them, will resize it. And the side and top handles, if I click and drag on those, it stretches it or it shrinks it. If I hold down shift and click on one of those, it changes the size. And then this control in the middle rotates it. There we go. You can also crop your GIF. Right click on it, select crop. Now use these on-screen controls to trim up the clip. When you're done, just click on done. Maybe you want to flip your GIF. There's a couple ways to do that. First, go to the inspector and change scale X to negative whatever the value is. I'll double click on that and enter negative and then press enter or return and you'll see it flips it along the vertical axis. If I wanna flip it along this axis, the X axis, then I just change the Y to a negative as well and then press enter. There's a quicker way too. 
There's an effect built into Final Cut Pro that allows you to flip. Click on this icon to open the effects browser and scroll down to distortion. Drag and drop this flipped effect onto your GIF. And you'll see that it flips it automatically. If we turn it off, it goes back the other way. You can change how much you want it flipped and you can also change which way. Or we can do both. To delete that effect, select it and then press backspace on an external keyboard or delete on your MacBook Pro keyboard. Okay, you can treat this just like any other clip. We can trim it, we can move it in the timeline, we can bring it down to the primary timeline, we can cut it in half. I'll move my playhead where I want to cut it and then press Command B. Now I have two clips of it and I can change the duration. You can also apply effects to your GIF as well. Let's try a little bit of a blur. Let's try this prism blur. Drag and drop it on. And you can see the effect is just like on a normal clip. We can also use transitions. Open the transitions browser and go to dissolves and drag and drop cross dissolve in between your clips. <laughs> Cinema at its finest. So is this video hilarious like I said it would be? Are you enjoying this video? Has it been helpful? If so, will you give it a thumbs up so other people will see this video? Thanks. One of the best things about GIFs is being able to loop them over and over again. I've got the perfect GIF for a loop. I'm gonna drag and drop it onto my timeline and then let's resize it. I'll right click on it, select transform and I'll just shrink it down a little bit right about there and I'm gonna move it up here and press done. That looks good. Let's add a little border to this um, GIF. I think that'll look good. Go to the effects browser, go down to stylized and drag and drop simple border onto your GIF. Nice. Now to loop it, we just need to duplicate it. We can do that a couple different ways. We can select it, press Command C, move our playhead to the end, and then press Command V. I think a better way is to hold down Option, click and drag on the GIF, and it makes a copy of it right there. Let's play it back. Nice, it loops too. Looking good. All right, now let's animate this GIF on and off. Select both of them and press Command G to group them in their own little storyline above the primary storyline. First, let's animate with keyframes. So go back to the beginning of the clip and go to the inspector and next to opacity, set a keyframe by pressing this little button and then bring it down to zero. Come in about a second and move opacity up to 100%. Now, go about a second from the end of the clip and set a keyframe for scale all, and then go to the last frame in the clip and set scale all to zero. And let's play this back. Our GIF fades in, it loops, and then it shrinks. Nice. Another way to add some animation or movement to this GIF is to use built-in transitions. So open the transition browser and go down to movement section. And let's find my favorite little transition. It's called spin. Drag and drop that onto the GIF at the beginning. And let's shorten that. It's a little bit long. We'll shorten that transition. And let's play it back. Ah, that looks good. If I select the transition, I can select where that starts from. I'm gonna start it up here by my head and I want it to rotate a little bit more. So here's how that looks. Mm, that's a good looking in animation, don't you think? All right, hold down Option, click and drag on the transition and drag it all the way to the end and play it. What the heck, that doesn't work. That's because we need to change something, a setting. So select the transition and go up to the inspector and change direction from automatic to out. And then let's change the direction it spins toward and let's change the rotation as well. I want it to kind of go down and away, down and out to the right. All right, let's play the whole thing back. 
it swoops in, looks good, it loops, and then it swoops out. Nice. All right, so that's how to add a GIF to Final Cut Pro and how to edit it, how to loop it, and how to animate it. My friend Reggie made another video I think you're gonna really like. It's called How to Make a GIF in Final Cut Pro and you can check it out right here. Go on, click it. You know you wanna make a GIF. Just think of the hilarious GIFs you can make.